Hello, my name's Karina Thompson and in this film I'm going to be showcasing the new layout within the MySoNet Embroidery software. So this is the welcome page. This is what you see when you first open the software. So over here it's basically kind of saying to you what do you want to do? So it might be that you know for instance that you want to, you want to make a monogram. Uh, so if you were to click here that would take you directly into the Express Monogram Wizard or perhaps you want to um, uh, explore the new Spyro uh, uh, facility and again if you click on that that wizard would automatically open for you and then next to it are all my recent projects very often when I'm working um, it's useful to have all my recent projects to hand and I can quickly click on those but today I'm just going to open up with the blank canvas because again a new feature within the software is the hoop selection window. Um, all the main embroidery uh, machines are there um, and it allows you to select the right hoop for your project. So again I'm going to click OK. Now if you're familiar with Premier Plus or Premier Plus 2 in many ways much of how the software looks will look familiar but it's not exactly the same. First off I'm sure you can see that basically the actual icons themselves have been updated to, to give a sort of a refined simpler streamlined view. I'm going to uh, insert a, uh, a design just because it's going to be easier. I could have done this on the welcome screen but I just wanted to showcase that hoop selection window that would open. So again if you're familiar with Premiere Plus or Premiere Plus 2 many of these features will look, um, uh, uh, many of these tabs will be familiar to you. We've got file, we've got home, um, you know, so home is where you've got your cut and paste selecting, you know, if you want to rotate um, uh, uh, your project, those kind of simple things over here. Now over here on the right hand side we've got the design panel just like before telling me my stitch count and my thread, uh, um, uh, my thread changes, but over here is a new feature and basically it's a film strip if I ungroup this you can see um, like in the create module before um, we have a film strip here so what the film strip does is it tells um, it breaks the instructions that go down to the machine um, uh, into a series of events and this allows us to go back in and for instance this little icon here tells me that this is a design object. So I know that this aspect I digitized myself. So if I wanted to make some changes I can now click on that icon on the film strip and I'm given the choice edit in digitizing. Now in the MySoNet software what we in the past we had called the create module is now called digitizing. So if I wanted to I could change that pattern fill and let me just do this so if I click OK now if I go down actually to here um, back to the MySoNet you can see in actual fact that change has been made and I've got a dialog box up here that's saying are you happy with that you know do you want to finish with it um, and I'm going to say yes because that's fine Another example of how useful the film strip can be is over here. So this is a design that I've done. I've used the little icons here are telling me that these are super designs apart from this last one here which is a Spyro design. And again I can make changes in here where I can go in and for instance I might say well actually I want satin borders around uh, uh, my appliques and again the film strip I'm actually going to say well actually I'm going to make some uh, uh, big changes to my rocket I'm going to change the angle I'm going to change how big it is but I don't know if you can see that in actual fact 
the spiro is on top of my design and actually I want to do it the other way around. So if you think about it, if you look at the film strip, the machine's been told to do the rocket first, but in actual fact I want it to do the uh, spiro first. So this is selected, so if I then drag that up, there you go, can you see in actual fact my rocket and my star and my moon are now sat on top of the spiro. So that's a really, really useful feature. Now on the create tab, it might actually be that you, once you're actually beginning to work, that you might actually say, well, actually, I, I want to uh, do some word sculpt. or I want to add some more Spyro in there. So you can actually, in the past, these have all been separate modules that you've had to uh, save your design to, that it's not been as connected. In Premiere Plus, and Premiere Plus 2. If I wanted to get my embroidery design onto my machine, I would have to go File and Export it. However, over here in the MySoNet embroidery software is the Center MySoNet. As part of your, uh, as part of the subscription to MySoNet, you get cloud storage account. So I could save this design direct up to my cloud storage, or better still. I've got uh, a Wi-Fi enabled machine, it's turned on and if I click on that you can see here that this design has been automatically actually sent to my machine. So if I was to go up to my workroom now this design would be ready to stitch out on my Epic. So I hope you can see in terms of the layout there's all the old familiar um, uh, uh, friends of Encore and Letter and the super designs are all there. So all that knowledge that you've gained so far will still um, uh, you'll still be able to use it. It's just we've got some more features that will enable you to uh, work quicker and work smarter. I hope you found that useful and look out for the more detailed films in the series where I'll actually be going into all these many aspects in greater detail.